Epoxy resin is one of the most versatile materials used in various industries, from electronics to art, and even in construction. Its popularity is primarily due to its exceptional adhesive properties, chemical resistance, and durability. However, despite its widespread use, not many people fully understand how epoxy resins are made or the intricate process that turns raw materials into the sturdy, reliable substance we use in so many different applications. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of epoxy resin production, breaking down the process step by step and explaining how this remarkable material comes into being, right here on History of Simple Things. The creation of epoxy resin starts with the synthesis of its basic building blocks, which are the key components that will give the resin its unique properties. These components typically include epichlorohydrin and bisphenol A. Epichlorohydrin is a chemical compound that is derived from propylene, which is a byproduct of petroleum refining. Bisphenol A, or BPA on the other hand, is an organic compound that is made from the combination of phenol and acetone. These two raw materials are the core ingredients in epoxy resin, and their combination is what forms the foundation of this remarkable substance. The first step in the epoxy resin manufacturing process is the reaction between epichlorohydrin and bisphenol A. This reaction occurs in the presence of a catalyst, which accelerates the chemical transformation. In this process, epichlorohydrin reacts with the bisphenol A to create a structure called a glycidyl ether. This chemical structure is the backbone of the resin. The glycidyl ether has reactive groups, called epoxide groups, that are responsible for the resin's strong adhesive and cross-linking properties. The result of this reaction is a liquid resin that is highly viscous and is typically referred to as epoxy resin. At this point, the resin is still relatively unreactive and needs further processing to make it useful for practical applications. After the initial reaction between epichlorohydrin and bisphenol A, the next step is to modify the resin to suit various applications. This is done by adjusting the molecular weight of the resin, which ultimately affects the resin's viscosity, curing time, and mechanical properties. To modify the resin, manufacturers often introduce different types of curing agents, also known as hardeners, which help determine how quickly and thoroughly the resin will cure when it is used in a project. The curing agent is a crucial component in the epoxy resin process, as it activates the resin's chemical reactions and causes it to harden or cure once it is applied to a surface. One of the most commonly used curing agents is amines, which are organic compounds that contain nitrogen atoms. When an amine-based curing agent is mixed with a liquid epoxy resin, the epoxide groups in the resin react with the amine groups in the curing agent, forming a tightly bound network of molecules. This cross-linking process is what gives epoxy resin its unique strength, durability, and resistance to wear and tear. The type and amount of curing agent used can influence the final properties of the resin, such as its hardness, chemical resistance, and flexibility. In addition to amines, there are various other curing agents used in epoxy resin production, including anhydrides, polyamides, and phenolic compounds. These curing agents all have unique properties, allowing manufacturers to customize the resin for specific uses. For example, if the resin needs to have a long working time or high resistance to heat, a specific type of curing agent may be chosen to achieve these desired characteristics.
Once the resin has been properly mixed with the curing agent, the next step is to allow it to cure. The curing process can occur at room temperature or may require heat, depending on the formulation of the resin. Some resins are designed to cure very quickly, while others are designed to remain workable for a longer period, which allows the user more time to manipulate and apply the resin. In most cases, the curing process involves the chemical cross-linking of the resin molecules, which transforms the liquid resin into a solid, durable plastic material. This is when the epoxy resin takes on its final properties, such as its strength, hardness, and resistance to heat and chemicals. The final step in the production of epoxy resins is the packaging and distribution of the material to manufacturers, artists, and other end users. Epoxy resins are sold in various forms, including liquid resins and pre-mixed kits that include both the resin and the curing agent. These products are available in a wide range of viscosities and formulations, depending on the intended use. For example, some resins are designed for use in coatings, while others are formulated for use in adhesives, laminates, or casting applications. Epoxy resin is used in countless applications from everyday items like countertops and flooring to more specialized uses in aerospace, automotive, and electronics industries. The resin's ability to resist corrosion, extreme temperatures, and harsh chemicals makes it ideal for use in environments that require durability and longevity. For example, in the aerospace industry, Epoxy resins are used in the production of lightweight, high-strength composite materials that are essential for the construction of airplanes and spacecraft. In electronics, epoxy resins are used to encapsulate and protect circuit boards, ensuring their reliability and performance in various electronic devices. The process of making epoxy resin is a complex, multi-step procedure that begins with the synthesis of basic chemical components and ends with the creation of a highly durable and versatile material. As demand for more sustainable materials grows, the industry continues to innovate, making epoxy resin not only a functional, but also a more environmentally friendly choice in various industries. Whether used for industrial applications, artistic creations, or everyday repairs, epoxy resin's impressive properties make it an indispensable material in modern society. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.